All right. All right, all right. First and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kakadash. All right. And uh, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, from whom I learned from, and actually what this video is sort of about right now. Okay. And uh, and to the uh, to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, Shalom to you. All right. This is the brother Gabar Adama. And if you will, please, please uh, subscribe to my backup page, uh, Gabar Adama Ba. Gabar Adama B A, and then I have another backup page that has zero subscribers, and it's also called Gabar Adama. You'll see my big mug when you know if you click on it. <laughs> just saying. All right. So the Elder Malcolm, you know, just uh, uh, put out a video. I'm not I've even finished watching it, and he was talking about uh, one of the brothers had sent him a clip or a screenshot, and it was of uh, a show called. Uh, who wants to be a millionaire, right? And the question was something or uh, something or another of uh, what book was taken out of the Bible that shouldn't have been taken out of the Bible or something like that. Okay, I may even show it. Okay, and oh wow, there's a beautiful lightning bug right here sitting on my address book. It's absolutely beautiful. The creatures that, you know, Lord willing, we have create. Just wanted to say that. But um, uh, the, uh, the answer was the Apocrypha. Right, they gave three different uh, choices, and it was a Jake that had the choices. And you know, of course, if you've ever seen that show, what do you have? You have the the audience, and then you have some kind of shout out to somebody you know, where you could call them, you know, uh, like in the midst of the show, or something different like that. All right, so I'm gonna play this just to show that these damn Edomites in the Bible Destruction Group took the apoc uh, apocrypha out because it was saying way too much truth, all right? But what they didn't know is, is Yahabashim Yahweh Shah has already supplanted them. They're in the ultimate trick bag, okay? I'm gonna play this. This, uh, this, uh, oh, it's an old movie called Pollyanna, right? Check it out. Apocrypha. You hear that? Ecclesiasticus 38. Wait a minute. Hold on. Time out. Hey, girl, I'm making a video, okay? Got it? All right. <laughs> Let's go back just a little bit. There we go. Listen to this very closely. He said apocrypha. Uh oh, now hold on now. I believe Donald Trump even swore in uh, with uh, one of the uh, scriptures from the apocrypha. So why did they take it out? Ecclesiasticus 38, paragraph 22. Now what did he say? Ecclesiasticus what? Hold on. Let's see what we have here. So lucky, I'm going to take my time with this one. I'm going to take my time. So that was Ecclesiasticus, right? You know, and I had uh, it was it was a couple years back, I suppose. Uh, a E come on uh, come on uh, come on my comment board talking about Ecclesiasticus. Uh, don't you mean Ecclesiastes? She had no idea. See, the 1611 has got this. All right, the Bible description 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 group. As I said, <laughs> took it out. All right, so that was 30. Verse 12, I believe. Is that what he said? Let's go back. Oh, no, I went way too far. Look at these little demons. Dirty ass Edomites. We'll play it from there. And why does he look so perplexed? See? Man, this is our book. They shouldn't even have this in their mouth. Apocrypha. Ecclesiasticus 30, paragraph 22. 
paragraph 22. So let's go there. Verse 22. All right. Let's see what this says. All right. Verse 22. The gladness of the heart is the life of, of, of man. And the joyfulness of a man prolong his days. See that? All right. Verse 23. Love thine own soul and comfort thy heart. Remove sorrow far from thee. For sorrow hath killed many, and there is no profit therein. All right. So this is a precisely why Yahweh Hashem Yahushua said, whatever ye take, whatever he, we get from him, take it cheerfully. Okay. All right. You take it cheerfully. Gladness of the heart is the life of man. Now, this is one of the rejoicing or happy texts. Wait, look at the looks on these Edomites' faces. They're like, what? Because before in this movie, you know, he's one of them hellfire Edomite uh, preachers that was speaking of hell and damnation, right? Let's continue. A young member of our parish pointed out to me that there are 800 such happy texts in our Bible. Well, she was wrong. There are, to be exact, 826. All right, so I'm not going to go any further with this bullshit. Excuse my language. All right, verse 24. Envy and wrath shorten the life. See that? Envy and wrath shorten the life. Now the scripture says, "Envy not thou oppressor, and choose none of his ways." Okay, and can, uh, and carefulness, uh, bringing age before the time. Right, twenty-five. A cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. Uh oh, you hear that? So you know a lot of these plagues and a lot of these things that are happening to us is because we are eating bad things and all kinds of nonsense. But we also do know that we eat shall eat our uh, meat. Defiled our bread, defiled among men. All right. So hey, that was it. I just just real short. I just wanted to show that, and uh, you know that's about it. So giving all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kadosh, and the water to uh, the elder for bringing that out. You know uh, from whoever he got it from about the apocrypha because this it's really all over the place, man. I think there's several things I could find. All right. Shalom, brothers.